Neil, how has this week been for you? Obviously, it's the, the very last UFC fight week. Has it been emotional? Has it been different in any way? No, it's just been going through the motions. It's been good. I've enjoyed it. A lot of questions about retirement, which I'd rather not. You know, you know me, I'd rather fly underneath the radar, do what I have to do and disappear. You know, but it is what it is. You have to answer what people, what people ask you, you know, so. Are you trying to soak it all in a little bit more because it's the last time or? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to soak it all in. Look, it's the exact same thing. You got to meet all the, the different people you've met over the last couple of years. You know what I mean? You, you got to miss all this, all this stuff. But as I say, everything comes to an end. On Saturday night, I know you said previously the the kids and the, your wife will be there. Is, is that still the case? And will, will will that make it more emotional for you? Yeah, it'll make it more emotional. We're in Dublin. You know, I had to treat the, the family when there when I was in Dublin, and. Um, Pulled off a win. The, the night, uh, the night after was fantastic. Spending time and all with them, you know. But um, it's going to be a bit emotional here. Look, at, we're only human here. I'm not going to lie, you know. It is going to be emotional, but it's it's been it's been great to me, you know. The career has been great to me, and as I said, I'd, I'd rather go out feeling good than feeling shit. I'm going out feeling good, you know. I'm walking away from it feeling good, healthy, and that's what I wanted, you know. When you announced that you were going to retire, there was obviously a lot of people kind of paying tribute and you know, you know, sending you nice messages and stuff like that. And was that quite humbling when, when that happened? Yeah, I, it was humbling, you know. But if you ever go onto my social media, there's a lot of people send me bad messages as well, you know. <laughs> Everybody giving me stick, you know. But I take it all in, you know. It's it's great crack. Um, I love every bit of it. It's a pretty good way to go out, though, isn't it, on, on Irish soil and, uh, you know, a brilliant match-up against one of the, the best in the division. Yeah, it is. You know, as I said, it depends what Ian McCall comes to fight, you know. If Ian McCall wants to be exciting, which he is usually a, an exciting fighter, but he, he can shut your game down, you know what I mean? He, he can't shut your game down. He can um, put you on your back and make things less exciting for you, you know. But um, I'm sure he's going to come up. Uh, he hasn't fought in a year. The last fight he was was John Lineker, I think he la he lost that fight so he's gonna be he's gonna be uh, gunning to get back into the win come to get his name back up that flyweight division you know but I'm here ready to fight I've always been ready to fight you know I always turn up fight day I always try to take people's heads off and it's not gonna change because it's my last fight but I'm going there trying to knock him call out and um, I'm gonna give him me all over the 15 minutes to stop him call if the result goes we may fantastic if it doesn't. I've still enjoyed, I've still enjoyed the ride, you know. I was speaking to your coach Andy Ryan during the week, and he was saying that uh, if you win this fight on Saturday night, you know, against such a top contender, it might make the, the retirement a little bit more difficult. Will, will, will there be a decision to be made on Monday morning if that's the case? No, no, definitely not. You know, as I said, I'm going out feeling good. That's it. Andy keeps saying it to me, winding me up. He's been messing with me, trying to, um, trying to get into my head. But no, I, I've made me mind up, and when, when make me mind up, I'll, I'll stick to it. You know, um, I say. A lot of people, a lot of people should be happy for it that I'm going. You know what I mean? People still want to see me fight, which is fantastic. But when does it come to the stage where people just don't want to see a fight anymore? Don't want you to take any damage, you know? And we've a, we've a lot of that. We've a lot of that in in MMA as it is. We've got people that are just going in just to get paid. I'm not one of them. You know what I mean? I had a reputation for coming up, turning up to fight every single time, and I am going to turn up to fight every single time. But it just comes to an end sometimes, you know. You know when your body's telling you, just, just that's it. You know, no more headshots, no more, no more grueling, grueling matches, no more grueling, grueling training sessions. Just sit back and enjoy, enjoy what more or less you've helped, you've helped um, create. Obviously, you've had a lot of you know really great moments during your time in the UFC. You, you know, a great performance in your debut against Brad Pickett, fighting in a, a big football stadium in Sweden, fighting in Vegas, yeah. winning a bonus in Dublin. Is there one that you pick out as as the best of the lot? Yeah, no. As I said, I was at my happiest when I walked into the UFC the first time. I honestly, was. It's a fight that I watched back numerous of times. Um, I enjoyed every single bit of it. There was a smile on my face walking. There was always a smile on my face when I come to fight. But that was sort of a special thing because. You know, you obviously been with Cage Warriors thing. I missed the fight in the December. I thought everything was gone again. I thought it was face down. I was going to have to wait a long, long while to get out of the pond and another fight set up. And this fell into my lap, an opportunity to fight the UFC. And I, I just grabbed it, even though I lost against more popularity than, I, than anybody that night on the cards. You know, and it was, it was just, I enjoyed every bit of it.